Only on WLWT, an emergency landing unlike any other. A local pilot pulling off the unthinkable when his plane started leaking oil over Cincinnati. This all ended with no injuries, but I caught up with Justin O'Donnell, who says he was pretty shaken up by this wild experience. Anyone who's a pilot knows, you know, you have your checklists for various things. This one was, this is not on the checklist. Going off script can be necessary for any pilot, and the response to an emergency can be the difference between a failed landing or a successful one. You just have to be ready to respond, and if you don't respond, um, you can quickly lose the battle when time and altitude and speed are not on your side. That was the story for Justin O'Donnell, who says he picked up his plane from a routine inspection at Lunkin yesterday and decided to take it for a ride. But it only lasted a few minutes before trouble hit. Noticed all of a sudden my windscreen very quickly became just totally obscured with, uh, with some substance. I wasn't sure what it was. That substance turned out to be engine oil. And not only was it blocking O'Donnell's view, it was leaking fast. So he had to turn back to Lunkin and think quick. At that point, I threw the headset on the dash of the airplane. I unbuckled my lap belt and shoulder harness and then used uh, one hand on the windscreen to pull myself up out of the seat and basically prop myself up um, just enough to get my head above the top of the windshield. I spent the remainder of the flight sort of bobbing up and down trying to keep the oil um, from spraying in my face and my eyes too much. With his head out of the cockpit, O'Donnell brought the plane in. These photos taken moments later, you can see the oil covering the aircraft. Well, first emergency. Gone. I've never heard of anybody sticking their head out of a canopy, no, so that's, yeah, that's definitely unique. Rob Hawkins is the crash rescue truck driver at Lunkin Airport. He describes the protocol when there's an emergency like this. The tower will let us know where they're coming in at, and so we position ourselves so that way we follow them in. So once they land, we will follow them to whatever point they need to go. But for O'Donnell, there's no standard for this and it all comes down to perspective. You gotta look at the result and say, you got it on the ground, I'm safe. The plane, I mean, is safe, but you know, that's not really the priority. Um, I walked away from it and that's the most important part. Yeah, and we mentioned O'Donnell is a new pilot. He's only had his private pilot's license for two weeks. He says he thinks the best idea right now is to get back up in the air as quickly as possible. Now, as for what led to the engine trouble, that's still under investigation.